and for thalassemia. Thalassemia is caused by mutations in two different genes, the HPA1 and the HPA2 genes located on chromosome 16. There are four types of alpha thalassemia depending upon the number of genes deleted. Those who inherit one alpha gene deletion are called alpha thalassemia carriers. Those who have two gene deletions are known as alpha thalassemia trait. When there is three alpha gene deletions, there is presence of hemoglobin H disease in which there is formation of beta tetramers. Patients who acquire four alpha gene mutation has alpha thalassemia major or hydrops vitalis. In this, there is formation of gamma tetramers of hemoglobin, also known as hemoglobin bar. Signs and symptoms of alpha thalassemia. The patients with alpha thalassemia carrier state or alpha thalassemia trait do not have major symptoms or have a few symptoms. The patients who have HPH disease or are having alpha thalassemia major are symptomatic and these symptoms may vary from person to person. The most common symptoms are fatigue, jaundice, splenomegaly, gallstones and there is overgrowth of bones of cheek, forehead and jaw giving rise to the typical thalassemia facies. In the diagnostic work of, of alpha thalassemia, complete blood counts are done which shows low MCV, low MCH and low MCHC. The peripheral blood smear shows presence of microcytic hypochromic RBCs along with many target cells. In cases of hemoglobin H disease, the red blood cells containing hemoglobin H inclusions can be visualized on the blood smear using neomethylene blue or brilliant crystal blue stain. Hemoglobin analysis is important for the diagnosis of alpha thalassemia as it determines the types and percentage of types of hemoglobin present. This can be done by hemoglobin electrophoresis and high performance liquid chromatography. Molecular analysis of DNA sequences can be used for confirmation of a diagnosis of alpha thalassemia, particularly for detection of alpha thalassemia carriers in whom there is only one or two mutations in the alpha gene. The pregnant women can be screened and their fetus can be diagnosed for, by uh, chorionic villus sampling at 11th week or amniocentesis at 16th week of pregnancy. In this procedure, the fetal DNA is analyzed for alpha thalassemia. The treatment of alpha thalassemia. Individuals with mild form of alpha thalassemia may not require any specific treatment except for management of low hemoglobin levels. Patient with HBH disease an alpha thalassemia major may require lifelong blood transfusion therapy along with removal of extra iron from the body via chelation. Hematopoietic stem cell tra transplant is the ultimate cure for patients with hemoglobin H disease and alpha thalassemia major. Alpha thalassemia is frequently mistaken for iron deficiency anemia because both disorders have microcytic hypochromic RBCs. In patients with alpha thalassemia, iron therapy is not required. Measurements of serum iron and ferritin can provide laboratory evidence to exclude iron deficiency as the etiology of microcytosis. As serum iron is decreased in iron deficiency anemia but is normal or increased in alpha thalassemia. Also, similarly, the serum ferritin is low in iron deficiency anemia but is increased in alpha thalassemia. Failure to exclude iron deficiency anemia in a patient with an alpha thalassemia syndrome may lead to continuation of supplemental iron therapy for an extended period and this can cause iron overload and secondary hemochromatosis. If it continues for longer than one to two years, it can lead to damage in multiple organs.